G'day folks, how you all going? I hope you're all staying safe, keeping out of this, keeping away from all your friends and all the, all the bloody shops and what have you. We have to keep our, keep our distance these days. Anyway, I just thought I'd run a little poem by you. I hope you like it. It's called Pig Dog Carnage. He came from out the Donga, where the armpits smell much stronger. He came into the city for a look. He didn't have a clue or know exactly what to do. He read about the city in a book. He wore hacked and riding boots like he'd just come off the chutes. He really did look somewhat out of place. It stood out for a mile. It was written on his dial. He came into the city to join the old rat race. He drove a beat-up Holden ute with a pig dog in the boot to keep an eye on his swag and gear. That dog, a punch-drunk bully, was mean, wild and woolly. He liked to bite on pigs, but there wasn't any here. With the ute parked in the mole, our man took a little stroll to see how things got done round hereabouts. He was checking out a sail when he heard some sirens wail and he wondered what the hell made people shout. A stampede began to form just like cattle in a storm. People were running everywhere. Cars were crashing in the street and he said, well, bless me, Pete. They can add this city life with all its rush and tear. It seems that as the dog sat in the ute chewing on an old black boot, listening to the people passing by, when a hoon begins to shout to his mate, there's pigs about. They drop their soul and booty and down the street they fly. Pigs? That got the bully started. The ute and him were parted. He took a course of action to bring those pigs to bay. City folk were screaming, was a nightmare they were dreaming. That wild and woolly bully would make them rue the day. Screeching brakes and tortured metal kept a pig dog in fine fettle. He zigged and zagged the street in hot pursuit. He was blowing from the strain, his hunt for pigs was all in vain. In disgust. He bit a policeman and went to find the ute. A disaster zone was claimed. A beast from hell was all to blame. The stories going round got out of hand. Our man in ignorant bliss thought the city was like this at the best of times and he didn't want to stay. Amid the carnage in the city, his ute was sitting pretty. With the bully there, a wagon off his tail. He said, we won't stay any longer. We'll head back out the Donga. I think it's time for us to hit the trail. Thanks, folks. Cheers. Have a great day.